Hello everyone, thank you for joining me here today on my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be sharing a card I made as guest designer for Heffy Doodle Crafts this month. So I'm just going to jump right into the video. To start off with, I'm creating a frame and an inner panel using the Mama Elephant Madison Avenue Creative Cuts. And once I run that through my die cutting machine, I'm going to just set that frame aside for a second. And I'm going to use the new Heffy Doodle Confetti Heart Stencil. Just going to secure everything down using some micro tape there. And today I'm going to be doing some dry embossing. So I've got my platform there on tab one, cutting plate, a silicone mat, the stencil and card. And I just did add some pieces of extra card stock to give some extra weight and pressure as I run it through the die cutting machine. Ideally, I would have used two silicone mats, but I only have one at the moment, so I need to get myself another mat. And the hearts will create an impression onto the card, and you can't really see much until I start applying the ink. And on the raised areas, the ink will grab hold of those raised impressions and create a slightly darker tone onto the card panel. So there you can see that the hearts are starting to appear as I apply more ink. And I've just got some post-it tape on my fingers there just to help me from creating a mess or getting my fingerprint marks into the ink. And just really lightly building up the color really slowly. I have sped up the video, but I do take my time as I'm ink blending just want some nice soft color. This color is Distress Ink in Dusty Concord. And I've just got that on a little mini ink blending tool there. I've just smushed some of that Dusty Concord onto my glass mat there. And I've just got a wet paintbrush. And I'm just loosening up the ink and just splattering some of that color onto the panel just to break everything up and add a little bit more interest. These little paintbrushes are from Ikea and I highly recommend them. They're really cheap and just great to have a few in your stash. I also went ahead and added some gold splatter as well. I didn't manage to catch that on camera, but I use exactly the same technique as the purple ink. Gone ahead and stamped out my little images. This is the Happily Ever Crafter stamp set from Heffy Doodle. And I've stamped that onto some Copic Friendly cardstock with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm using my C markers for my little boy here, or my little groom. I'm just listing the colors I'm using on the screen, but I will have everything listed in the description box below and also will link to the blog post, which coordinates with this video. I did go ahead and stamp out quite a few of the images in one go. I like to have a few stamped at a time I use my little mini misty to do that and then when I've finished I just put them back into the stamp set envelope and then I've got them there ready for when I need them. Just using some B mar BV markers. I did bring out my hex chart to try and use some colours that went nicely with that dusty concord and I thought these ones were quite a good match. Colouring in his little top hat. Just bringing in some BV08 to darken up the shadows a little. And I really do struggle with hair, but I just keep working at it, keep going back over it, trying to create the little flicks. And I wish I had a recipe or a top tips for doing hair but I think practice is the only tip I have just keep practicing try and use a really light hand I try to keep the darker colors to the center and use those as my shorter flicks and just keep going backwards and forwards using my lightest to darkest darkest to lightest until everything looks like it's blended and I'm happy with how the hair's looking moving on to my bride i'm again using those bv markers i haven't shown me coloring in her skin again as i did that on my groom but i am just going to show you her dress and her hair again 
Again, just bringing in that BV08 just to deepen up the shadows. I did find with my BV00 and BV quadruple zero that it did bleach out the colour or take the colour away quite a lot. So bringing in that BV08 just added a nice little bit of contrast. Again, I'm going in doing her hair. I start with the flicks from the centre and then from the side. Apologies for me moving my paper around quite a lot. I find that that really also helps with getting the hair how I like it, just moving the paper so that it feels comfortable to do the flicks. I am going to be covering up her hair with a little tiara, so I didn't worry too much about it being perfect. But I just keep working at it until I'm happy with how it's looking. Here's her little tiara. I just used those BV markers again and some R85 and 83 for her little heart in the center and then i went ahead and used the coordinating dies to cut out all my images so i'm just adding some liquid adhesive just to add my elements together and now i can start putting together my card i just took some purple card there from my stash it has a really nice linen texture and added that to a landscape a2 card base Pop some liquid adhesive onto this frame, just centering everything up nicely. This is just some plain white heavyweight card. I've got my ink blended panel with the confetti hearts. I'm going to just lay that inside using my ATG. And then I decided I would start working on my sentiment. So I'm just taking my BV, I believe this one is BV13, just scribbling that down onto some white cardstock and I'm just using my mini misty here I like to just place something into my misty to get the stamp lined up this one was happened to be a gift card I've treated my cardstock with my anti-static powder tool and I'm going to stamp wishing you and I'm using my Versamark ink for this and I'm going to be using my Ranger super fine white embossing powder which is my favorite so just off camera I went ahead and heat set that and now I'm using my guillotine to trim them into thin little strips. I like to use that little grid on the panel on the base of the cutting machine to help me line everything up. And I go and do that for wishing you a and the wedding as well. And for the magical, I'm using the magical word die from Heffy Doodle and this really nice shimmery purple card stock which I have in my stash and I thought this colour went perfectly with my design. I also cut the word magical out of some heavyweight white card stock. I just thought it gave the sentiment a little bit more stability. That glittery card is quite thin and it was struggling to keep its shape so I just thought that white heavyweight piece would just keep everything together and give it some more stability. So just start assembling my card, popping my sentiments down first and using my reverse tweezers here to help me secure everything down straight. Not forgetting my little eye for my magical Now I'm just popping some liquid adhesive on the back of my bride and groom and I can secure those down, centering them. And just some finishing details, I'm adding some white dots to their cheeks, popping some liquid glaze on her tiara and also my groom's band on his top hat. And I did feel like I wanted to emphasize the frame a little more. So I'm just adding this white frame on top. It has a little bit of a shimmery texture, this cardstock. And to finish off, I'm using some pretty pink posh jewels, just to give a little bit of extra sparkle. And that finishes off my card for today. I hope you enjoyed this card tutorial and it gives you some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.